Hello. Hi. Yeah, from the pillbox. God, my brain's not working this today. Um, from the pillbox again. My my own private little TV studio in the pillbox, somewhere situated on the coastal defences of Great Britain. Actually, it's England. So uh, there you go. So, anyway, um, bing a bong, bing a bong. I don't know what my phone does that for, but it does it every now and again. But anyway, um, I posted a little video about Tommy Robinson yesterday and this court case and everything like that. And I noticed something that I hadn't looked up. Um, I've been demonetized on um, on on YouTube, which is you know, and believe you me, my um, my my you know channel is pathetic. I've had it for quite a few years, and we did music and we did things like that and farted about just little videos, nothing nothing sort of like serious or anything like that and um but i earn probably on average you know pin money pin money um 15 to about 20 dollars a month on average and i noticed like recently it was going down and down and down and down and down and down and, you know i wonder why that is I wonder why that is anyway i went to monetize and see what's in monetize because it's sort of like yeah why not it's pin money i need some money from somewhere and um I find out that I've been demonetized. I can't put I can't I put adverts on my video. Now that's probably the only reason I can think about that is because I've done a couple of videos talking about um, um, politics, I suppose, and coming from a perspective of um, I'm a probably classical libertarian. I'm not a right winger. Um, I'm really, really don't like the Tory party to be quite honest because I'm working class and I fucking hate them. Excuse my language, and. Sorry about that. Bleep, hate them. Um, and I don't like the Labour Party because I think they're a bunch of um, communist scumbags. Um, they, they just are. They're just communist scumbags. And even back when we were fighting the poll tax against, because um, I was quite politically active as a youngster, we were fighting the poll tax against Margaret Thatcher. I remember speaking to the um, Socialist Workers' Party who were sort of fighting the poll tax as well and using it as a recruitment sort of drive. And they said, oh, come on, sign up for us, go, man, come on, sign up for us, yeah, yeah, come on, you know, you I said, no, why would I sign up for you? I said, if, if you vote power, I'll, I'll be one of the first you put against the wall and put a bullet in, the, about a dozen bullets in me. You know, that's what you like. You know, I don't want anything to do with you. So, um, never, you know, and the centralist party in this country, the liber liberals, oh, I mean, Jesus, what a bunch of wet, wet pansies. And um, that's it, really. You know, so never had anybody I could vote for. Anyway, and uh, and uh, but I am a manufacturer. I'm an employer. I run a company for my sins. And <laughs> and it's really, really odd. Like the way this demonetization business, like you know, I mean, okay, it's just a niggle. It's nothing. It's nothing really big. Like you know, oh, oh, you cut me to the quick, YouTube. But um. What I was going to what I was going to say is I've, I have noticed that my political perspective is not welcome even in my business. And I'm a manufacturer of that. OK, and I, we manufacture stuff in this country. In fact, one of the reasons why I started the manufacturing business in Britain was to piss Margaret Thatcher off because she was actually shredding the, the British manufacturing industry. Oh, that's lovely. I was watching a video yesterday about um, about the remain the Ramonas or what you call them, the, those toss bags that sort of like <laughs> one another vote. Um, and uh, somebody said, "Why did you vote to remain?" He said, "Manufacturing." Right. Okay. So we went into the EU in 1973 with absolutely one of the best manufacturing sort of industries in 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 the world. I mean, it, it did have its problems, and the unions, the Marxists again. Unions pissed on those fireworks as well. But we've been in the EU since then. Um, how's our manufacturing industry now? Absolutely crap. So yeah, freaking idiots, absolute brainwash idiots who, who say remain. Yeah. And they say, but you're, 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 you're ex you export and everything like that. And I say, yeah, I export. I export what we manufacture. I export to America. I export to China even. I export to any countries except uh, France, Germany, <laughs> Spain, any European country, 
that they go and they can't bloody export to them. They don't want our shit. They hate English. They hate English stuff. Do you know there's only one country in 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 Europe that buys our stuff, and that's the fabulous Italians. They don't buy a lot, but they do buy some. And the eye ties, yeah, good on them. Good on you. Good on I tip the eye tie, and um. Yeah, so no, I mean it's, I you know, so I can't say my political views. I mean, I came, I did, I did a little thing yesterday about I ran into a political figure, and I expressed my political views, and his reaction was absolutely off the wall. He ran away. He literally, physically ran away, and held held himself like this, and, and looked at me like, how can you say such things? Like you know, and I'm thinking, uh. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. This, I think the term nowadays is triggered. But I mean, Jesus, Jesus, what a flaky git! And this is a guy in quite a big power. You know, I mean, very left leaning, leaning. But bloody hell, he was in power, and he reacted like a like a girl in the playground. You know, like a girl. Yeah. Yeah. God, I, I probably get hung, drawn, and quartered for saying that. You know, but anyway, Brexit, I think it's time 17 million of us stood up and got counted. OK, let's, let's, let's sort something out, stand up and be counted and let's get this bloody thing sorted and get this country back thing. Get our borders sorted out, get our um, business sorted out and just, you know, we don't want any more people. We don't. We've got this country is. Fully, fully, fully enough as it goes. Really, we haven't got housing. My kids can't get housing. Yeah, you know, it comes to it. Like you know, I'm supposedly, as somebody said to me once, you, know, you, you've got the powers of, you've got the manufacturing. I said that sounds about neo-Marxist, doesn't it? Like you know, I said like so. If you got your power, because I, I, I've, I've created jobs and I've created everything, I'm going to be, I'm going to be sort of like seen as robbing the poor because basically, that's what I do. Well. You know, my kids haven't even got, I've got my kids are going to have to move it back in at home again because they can't get anywhere to live because there isn't enough housing. And you're inviting more people into this country. Let's sort out. We used to have a thing when we were kids. We used to say charity starts at home. Let's sort out our ex-soldiers our ex -soldiers who are living on the streets. Let's sort out our young kids that haven't got their own places or jobs. And let's sort out the education so people are, are educated. So they can actually be employable, you know, because we all can't be bankers. We all can't be pop stars. We all can't be, um, you know, I think there are some people we're going to have to do some of the menial tasks and everything like that. And Jesus Christ, I do the menial tasks in my company quite a lot. But peace, people, we need to get together and keep it peaceful, keep it lovely and from the pillbox. Take care. Have a good day and I'll speak to you again another time.